noisy today. Listen to all those lorikeets. It's a bit hard to see them, but you can sure hear them. We're about to have a big storm. It's just starting to rain. But the birds are so loud. They know there's a storm coming. I'm going to put some feed, some seed out for them in their feeder. G'day guys, welcome back. Another spin bloom. Uh, the last one I did was the green and blue one. And I said to you that I was going to do the same colours again but use a thicker cell activator on top. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Let me just see if I can get my light to go down a little bit because it's shining in my eyes. There we go, that's better. I don't want it in the screen, but it's um, a bit high, shining in my little eyes. <clears throat> okay, so same colours. Teal, turquoise, navy, Blue turquoise, green, and bright blue. So those are my colours. They are all Joe Sonia's. And the teal I made with phthalo blue and phthalo green, equal amounts. The blue, the bright blue, was just the um, phthalo blue. The turquoise is that one. It's called aqua. The bluer turquoise is aqua with just a blob of phthalo blue to get that one. Um, <clears throat> oh, and the green is that one. Brilliant green. So there we go. Those are my colours. So activator, as I said, two to one. Two parts Floetrol to one part Amsterdam Titanium White today. It's nearly empty, so I put this on. This little gadget, it's great. You just do that. Actually, I'm right-handed, so I do it that way. Do it like that. Make sure that that goes down behind. And all you do is just turn this. So I'm up to about there. That's all I've got left on that one. But uh, yeah, they're great little things to get out all the extra paint. It's better than cutting it in half and scraping it out and making a mess. All right, let me get my gloves on. The other one, the other green and blue one, it's sitting under a big food net with my brown and turquoise one. They're both sitting under there, tucked up nice and tight. I'll just release that. Uh, so this is a 16 inch, 40 centimeter canvas. And it's just sitting on my turntable, my cake stand. I've got some foil on there to keep it clean and so I've just folded over some masking tape to make it double sided. So that's all I've done. Now I'm just going to feel underneath, make sure that it's equal. Press it down a little bit. The weight of the paint is also enough just to keep it in place, so it should be fine. Um, I've just made up the cell activator. I've put on here two to one, so I'll remember what's in it. It leaves a tiny little, little mound. So we'll see. The reason I'm going with the thicker cell activator is with the thinner cell activator, your lacing tends to be quite thin, not very pronounced. It can go a little bit wobbly as it stretches out because it's so thin. So that's the thin one. That's the three to one. This one here. This one was thicker, this is two to one. See the difference in the lacing as it goes further out? It's still quite pronounced. It's still quite thick and it doesn't tend to go as wobbly. Can you see the difference? So, I mean, you end up with a little bit more, it's kind of thicker in the middle, but I think that's a trade-off to having better lacing. So that's what I'm gonna go for today and hopefully it works. Now guarantee that it will work. Let me turn my hair dryer on, I've got my hair dryer with my little medicine cup stuck to it 
and I've just cut the bottom out of that just to make that hole a bit smaller. So I've got a little bit more control over where I'm blowing my paint. And let's put on our pillow paint. It's just the British Paints Wall Interior Low Sheen in white. So I'm not going to shake it because I don't want bubbles everywhere. Let's pour that on. I used my muscles this morning and put little timber chocks under the table. Oh my gosh, it was so heavy. <laughs> I lifted up with one arm and um, put the little timber chocks. You know the timber little th timber things that come with your canvases to put in the corner? I just put that under my, my table. All right, so hopefully... We'll see if that's any better. I did put a level on it and, and make sure that it was level. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to do today, I'm going to put a blob down first, but then I'm just going to go like squiggles and uh, see if I can get more of like a colour variation. So I'm just going to take all the nozzles off my little bottles. Just bear with me. Whoa, don't fall over. <clears throat> I couldn't take them off earlier because I wanted to show you all the colours. Now, I'm going to make sure that I put the phthalo blue on top of the green today because that looked really, really pretty, didn't it? These two together, I got really pretty lacing. So I'm going to make sure that those two go on top. <clears throat> That's actually sitting nicely, isn't it? It's not moving, so yay to me. I've got a bit of a sore shoulder now lifting up the whole table on my own, but what do you do when you're home alone, hey? And make things work okay so that's the base it's nearly all gone now I'm gonna try you know how I did blob blob and then I did a blob there a blob there a blob there a blob there I'm just gonna see what happens if I just do this and then Navy. Whoa. Hopefully some of the colours will come up from underneath. I did a little video the other day and I put it up on my Facebook page on the consistency of these paints. So if you want to see it, if you're not already a member, you are most welcome to join my Facebook page, Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie. Um, all right, I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, I, yeah, and then you'll see that little video there that I, I did. Actually, I might just put a little bit more paint on. Just to make sure that I'm going to get my, my corners. I don't want to have not enough paint. Okay. I guess really I should what I should be doing is doing a square, shouldn't I? Because I have a square canvas. <laughs> okay. Um, oh my gosh. I hope this works with the squiggles. I haven't done that before. Right, let's put the cell activator on. Is that light? Let me just climb up my ladder. I can see the light. I don't know if you can. The ring of the light. Oh, no. Um, I think I also showed you in the last video my setup here. Uh, the light is a stand LED like round ring light. I'm going to put lots of this on. There we go because it's a big canvas. Um, I've got it on eBay. Now cold and low.
blouses. Okay, I was trying to get a little bit more of that white out, but I'll see how it goes. This is my little, my little dude. See, the problem with blowing too much is if I blow into this lacing, it's going to ruin it. I'm just going to blow straight down and see if I can get some cells or lacing to pop up under there. I think they will come up anyway. Wow, look at that. That's probably a little bit too much white, <laughs> but um, I can still see the lacing, you know, which is a good thing. Um, with the, the three to one, by the time it was out here, it was really quite dispersed and I couldn't see it. So you can see in the white there, I'm getting more bits of lacing coming up. So we'll just leave that for another minute. Uh, what can I talk to you about and while we're waiting for that, hey? Mm, <clears throat> I do want to show you... Actually, I'll get it. I'll go and get it. It's under my big food net, but I'll get it. The blue one that I did just before this one. Oops, it's stuck to my cups. Paint. Duck, you don't use a lot of paint with this technique. You know, you, you spin most of it off. That's it there. It's dry around the edges, but it's still wet in the middle. So hopefully going for something like that. I did want more green in it because it was quite dark down the other end. But once it's dry, I will varnish it. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going for. Let me just pop the net back over the top. It's sitting over the top of the blue one and also, you know, that brown and um, turquoise one that I did? Okay, so I really, so far, I really like how I'm getting <clears throat> little pops of colour throughout. Very pretty. Okay, now let me see if, I'm just going to lift that up for a sec. I need to see if the middle is going to let go. So there's my middle just there. Oh, it's heavy. I'm just going to do this until the middle lets go a little bit. Just back and forth. Back and forth. Until your middle lets go. Okay, that seems to be all moving together now. And let's just take it down there a little bit. Trying to center it just a little bit. See how it's all moving now? All moving together, that's what you want. Now back to the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, back to the middle ish all right now this is going to go over the edge before that goes over the edge mm. take it a little bit further I guess all right let's just I'll, I'll do a spin but I won't do it too hard because I just want to make sure that I don't go losing everything off the one side go slowly and see what happens. I did get a lot of paint on here so I don't need to like um, stretch it too far which means hopefully my lacing will stay really pretty because I don't have to overstretch everything too far. Wowzers you guys reminds me of a turtle skin not skin you know what I mean the shell <laughs> okay now this is where I'm going to do my little hairdryer trick and blow those rainbow straps. I guess I could have, maybe I should have put like some more white there and, and blown, it over, blown it over, but 
Let's just blow these and blend them. In case I can't get right over the corner, if I blend those over the corners, it's better than having blocks of colour. Right? Don't get into your lacing, blow up here. Don't want to interrupt your lacing. same paint that I, I use. I just put it in these squeezy bottles because it's easy to use. But for a big pour, like the middle, you might as well get the whole tin out. Um, Alright, now I'm a bit, a bit bummed about that. But let's see if I can actually tilt to get the weight of the paint down there. And then maybe it'll kind of spin off a little bit easier if I get the weight of the paint down there. All right, that's it. Let's see if that helps, hey? I think it helped. <laughs> I think it helped. Am I covered? Am I? What, with two spins? Covered with two spins? No, can't be. It is. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you guys. Wowzers. Oh, yeah, look at the sides. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that bit of lime through the center there. Now, up here, I've got lacing, which is quite close together. Down there, my lacing's quite far apart. So I'm just going to see if I can just move everything down ever so slightly. Stretch that lacing out at the top there. Really doesn't want to move very much. But I just feel as if I'd need to open it up a little bit. Now, can you see the difference in the lacing with the thicker cell activator? I hope you can. I sure can. I can see the difference in my lacing. I'm walking this down as I do when I'm doing my flip cut pulls ever so slightly walking it down now, I think that's composition wise I think that's good wow oh my gosh <gasps> love it okay I'm never doing puddles again I'm always going to do little ziggy zaggies wow okay now it's easier for me just to run my finger under here and catch the paint rather than trying to get the um, palette knife under there. Although it kind of makes a bit of a ridge, that's the only thing. Mm, let's try maybe this is a small palette knife because when you're pushing the paint along, it gets a build up and then it sort of creeps up on the side. So it's better with the, the knife. I'm just going to do this real quick. And then I'll take you down for a close-up. When you're touching it, make sure you only touch on the bottom. Stuck my fingers in the corner there, so I just have to touch that up. Oh wow, love it. I keep saying, you know, the last one I thought was my best, and then the one before that I thought was my best. But now, this is my best. I love it. Wow. Alright, that'll do me. I'll take my gloves off. Take it down for a close-up. 
have to get my gloves off. No, they're going to have to go into the bin. I can't get them off without making a mess everywhere. Um, now, when I stand here, I can see the reflection of that light coming down. But we'll see what it looks like once I take my camera down. What do you guys think? Hey? <gasps> Sorry, there's my light. Let me go down, down my ladder, around here. So there's my light. Okay. Now, is it going to look better with the light on or the light off? That's on, that's off, that's on, that's off. Let's leave it on, uh, let's leave it off for the close-up, hey? Wow, <laughs> I can't get over it. I seriously can't believe how beautiful it is. Look at that lacing. So the lacing is holding its shape much better with the, the two to one. What do you think um, the blues will be like with a, a silver? Do you think that would look nice? In the middle, where the centrifugal force isn't as great your cells don't open up as much but i kind of think it's nice you know you've got small cells and lacing in the middle and then they they've been spun out to get bigger and bigger and i'm glad i used the hair dryer on the corners to really push that that paint over the over the edges because I really don't like those stripy rainbow looks. Look at this. So much to look at. Once this is varnished and it's shiny, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so pretty. I thought about making prints of some of these um, because I've had a few people wanting to buy them, but I don't know that I can part with them. You know, they're one-offs, but if I get really, really good prints made on glossy paper. It'll um, they'll look as if they've been resined and you know you can put them in under glass in a frame so if anyone's interested let me know I'll have to get my friend who's a, a good photographer <laughs> to um, take photos of them because my camera's just not up to that sort of quality when you you know you blow things up <clears throat> enlarge them I should say <laughs> I'm not gonna blow it up oh dear all right so that's it there um, that was the other one I was showing you, how the lacing wasn't as definite. See how it's really thin, wispy lacing, it kind of goes a little bit wobbly. See how it's kind of gone a bit loopy, hasn't stayed in its lovely shape. Whereas this one, which was the, um, the two to one, same as what I've used today. The lacing is much better. It stays in its shape where I want it to go. So I don't know, can you see the difference? That lacing to that lacing. So for me, the thicker CA works. It's still thinner than the paint though. And there's my two babies under the under the net drying. So that's them. Okay, back to this baby. Hello, baby. <laughs> I'm going to take good care of you. Yes, I am. All right. Thanks ever so much for watching. My next one will be reds, uh, maybe dark purple gold and black so that's what I want to achieve for the next one 
So I will see you real soon for that one. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on it. All right. Love you all. See you real soon. Bye for now.